Prop Master is going to know everything that, that he has to know for, for a movie shot. Antique toys, really like that. These came off of a barber shop on 31st Street. Old pianos. Radiators, the old radiators. You got Mr. Spaceman here. That gets rented out fairly often. What do you find these old gas pumps? Well, some stuff finds you, okay? We've rented props to so many different movies. Public Enemy, uh, Hoodlums. Transformer. A lot of this stuff was in high fidelity in the back here of some of these stands and everything. In his record store. Roads of Perdition. I love to see the faces of everybody in there. Wow, you know, this is crazy. This is not a normal not. family business. I mean, what family business is normal? <laughs> in Chicago's Bridgeport neighborhood in this 36,000 square foot warehouse, stacked floor to ceiling with pretty much any item you might need for a film or TV show. Everything from the mundane to the obscure. So I guess you could say you're the, you're the king of prop <laughs> suppliers in Chicago. I am the owner of Zap Props. Uh, we are from what I know, the largest in the city with props available for movie, TV, uh, commercials, events, stage, you name it. Road to Perdition, the opening scene, where all the whiskey barrels and all that, I mean, that was almost 100% us. I spent a lot of time at auctions and flea markets. Give me $100,000, I'll spend it all. When you were a kid, what was it like having like your friends come over to play? Um, our house wasn't the same. It was a mini version of Zap. And then we also decorate restaurants and we buy and sell antiques. Who doesn't need a giant panther? These get rented out all the time. How old are these jelly beans? I don't freaking know. These are portrait cameras, okay, that you would go in and get your formal portrait. But they also use these in, uh, in the jailhouses to take pictures, mug shots. If you're doing a scene from the late 70s. Does this come in iOS 13? Is that three rows of airplane seats? One of my pickers called me up and I said, oh, you know, it sounds like a good idea. Uh, you know, hey, I've been looking for some brains in a jar uh, <laughs> and some formaldehyde. Or... If you're doing like a, a World War, uh, a Roosevelt, World War II type scene, you definitely need one of these. Did you ever see the old movies where they said the guy got killed with a phone? Yeah. Feel that sucker. Feel oh, yeah. The, feel the weight on that. I mean. So you, you drank all these beers? Nah, never. <laughs> This is the angry villager stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pitchforks. Yeah. What's this? An outhouse. Oh, all right. We'll, we'll keep that here. <laughs> Chicago itself is pushing it. You know, there's such a huge uh, film industry going on. The pride that I get out is knowing that I'm able to contribute to all these other people working in this industry. I like the fact that at the end of a movie that it's filmed in Chicago. Mm -hmm.